Uh, I haven't actually customized this one. That's good. So I'll just do a quick overview of the customized options. There are lots of different skins for these ships. Some cost silver and some cost gold. Um, they are pretty cool. You unlock skins as you progress through the game. I have noticed that you do un seem to unlock some skins um, for ships that you don't even have unlocked as well. So that when you actually get around to get into the ships, you will have uh, a nice set of skins for them. So as you can see here, some of these cost silver. Basic is the one I've got on the moment. Some are a little bit more expensive silver. And some are with the paid currency, the gold. Pretty cool. Um, you can also get decals. You can see... Ooh, I'll just collect them. You can see just on the side of the ship, there's on the wing, and on the back, there's a skull now. And on the top fin, you can see there's a skull. And just by the, just above the cockpit, you can see there's a little explosion there. See, it changes from skin to skin. So it's like a top arrow on the top now. You can see it's like the skeleton on the back, skeleton on the wing, skeleton underneath. Now you've got claw marks, you've got a bite mark. But you've got a set of punching gloves on the back now, boxing gloves even. Um, and the same on the front there. Is that boxing gloves or are they flags? Not quite sure. Uh, dice, you know, lucky sevens. You can see there's quite a few different decals. Now, test dummy skin, stump man. You can also buy interiors, although they're not the greatest uh, point of view for these. They just change like the the interior. Some of them give you a little bit more visibility. Um, some just change the color. It varies from ship to ship. I have got a couple of ships with different interiors, which I will show uh, later on on the stream. All right, okay. Um, Del Torres has just pointed out to me in chat that it seems that you have to reapply your skins post patch. So. I actually have a skin for the Rhino. Don't think I've got the interior. Oh yeah, I've got a custom interior there. So I'll apply that. I definitely don't think I've got any decals for it. Nope. But I have got. Oh. Got a custom skin for it. Which is this one here. And you can see just down the bottom there, it does point out when it is an owned skin. So it clearer for you. Like that. So that is my custom rhino. Um, it turns out that it does look awfully similar to this in terms of it seems to be orange highlights on it, but hey, I quite like the look of it. Um, I have also got a custom skin for one of my supports because I do my playing support as well. Let's just apply that. I've got a custom interior. Apply. And a custom skin. At least I thought I had a custom skin. Ah, what to do? Same sort of colour that I've got on my Rhino. I don't think I purchased a decal again. No. Decals, in my opinion, you can see them really nicely on the heavies because they are such massive ships, but not so much on like the support of the fighters. It's great now, um, they've actually changed the reward screen, the, I'll just find that again in English, they've actually changed the re reward screen at the end of the game, so you get to see like a massive blown up picture of uh, the player who's on top on both sides. Uh, you can really see decals and just the ship skins on that screen, and so it does look really nice now. Um, noticing things like decals in space, unless they're bumping into you, it's, it's, it's fairly difficult to see at the moment. Um, let's have a look at this. 